Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today on Your Average Roofer, we are gonna be doing my roofing pouch setup, and we're gonna go over the tools that you need when you're doing a roof. So the first thing you're gonna need when you're doing a roof, most important tool on the roof is your knife. Uh, basically, you're using this to cut your underlayment. You can put a straight blade for cutting underlayment, ice and water shield, and you're gonna use the hook blade to cut your shingles. The next most important tool you're going to need on your roof is your snips. You're going to use these to cut your drip edge and you're also going to use these to do all your flashing work around chimneys and sometimes when you're cutting around a pipe flange you may have a tough cut that you can't get the right angle with your knife to get the curve on the shingle. You're going to use your snips, just clean up the cut and make it look a lot nicer. The next two most important tools you're going to want on a roof is you're going to want your tape measure and you're also gonna want a pen. And the reason you're gonna want these is when you're marking out a roof, sometimes a roof isn't perfectly square, you're gonna wanna measure each side of the roof, figure out your difference, and you're gonna measure it out, and you're gonna chalk lines to make sure all your rows stay straight. In my pouch, I also carry three inch or two inch roofing nails at all times. The reason I carry these is because sometimes you're on a steep roof and you're going to use roof jacks. You always want to have these on you. That way you don't have to run down to your trailer every time you want to put a jack in. Another thing I carry on all my roofs is cap nails. We normally use the Stingray cap nailer to put our underlayment on the roof, but it's nice to have these on you in case there's a piece of paper that comes loose and starts blowing in the wind. You always have these on you. You can nail that piece back down while you're shingling. Another thing you're gonna want on all your roofs is your hammer. And this is one of your most important tools. The reason you're gonna want your hammer at all times, if there's any nails you miss while you rip the roof, you can bang them down easily or you can pry them out. The reason most roofers use hatchet hammers is because it's easier to get underneath a wall and pull nails out of your step flashing. Another important tool you're gonna want on your roof is your chalk line. Unfortunately, I don't have mine on me right now. Normally I'd keep it in my back pouch here at all times. Last job I was on, I forgot it there, so I'm gonna have to go back and get that. But it's another important tool you're gonna need, especially when you mark out your roof for your layout to keep your rows straight. Another thing I like to have on my pouches, not everybody's pouch will have this, but I like to buy pouches that do carry it. It's the holder for your nailer. And the reason I like to have this is because when you're climbing up on the roof with all your tools, you have your rope, your hose, everything. It's just something, it's another hand basically to hold your tools while you're climbing up on the roof. Another good thing about having this hook on your pouch is that when you're doing a steep roof, instead of setting your gun down and trying to rest it on your foot and balance it and juggle everything at once, you can hang your gun right here and it makes it a lot easier when you're on a steep pitch. Another thing I carry on me at all times is self-sealing grommet screws. And the reason I carry these is because when I finish my roof, instead of putting my last cap in and having face nails and putting caulking on them, I put these self-sealing tap-on screws, tap-in screws, self-tap, whatever the fuck you wanna call them. I put these in the roof and that'll stop any leaks and you don't need any caulking and it looks a lot cleaner and more professional. I also use these self-sealing screws on all my vents and counter flashing and that will prevent any leaks and again, it looks a lot more professional. Anyways guys, that is my pouch setup. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you want to see reviews on or what you want to see my setup on. And until next time guys, remember, you don't have to be the best. It's alright to be average.